Hey Bush Monkeys, welcome back. Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. I got a package that I've been looking forward to for a while. Uh, and uh, I decided to do an unboxing here on camera. I'm Pardon my messy tabletop here. I'm still uh, not able to get into my shop because I'm still having work done in the basement. But I wanted to unbox this. This is something I've been looking forward to for a while. It's the, um, I backed the Kickstarter for Redgrass Games' new handle with the uh, changeable heads and I wanted to get this video out now before there's like 300 review videos online um, I got in on the Kickstarter fairly early and uh, uh, I wanted to uh, to get it out here while it's, while it's still fresh all right so um, first up we got backing stuff Okay, we got the uh, ergonomic handle here. That's new. And we got the two extra heads and the gummy stuff. And the rest of what's in this box is just like another um, another uh, wet palette foam, another wet palette uh, wavy, and some more wet palette papers. And then uh, last but not least, very cool is oh that's a really nice book wow I was not expecting that um, we get this book by Angel Geraldes which is all really not uh, all using the wet palette to make miniature painting easy I'll go into this in a little bit but I wanted to check out the um, I'm gonna put this back in there. I wanted to check out the handle first because that's really what I got into the Kickstarter for. The book comes with the Kickstarter pledge. The rest of the stuff in this box is just stuff I ordered because I was almost out of it. And I completely forgot that I'd ordered another one of the wavies from my local game store. Okay, so um, the handle is... Uh, I didn't get on board the original Redgrass Games handle uh, because I already had a bunch of these little Citadel handles. And I really like these, and they're kind of ergonomic. They got a little nice little fat base to them that fits in my hand really nicely. And I've got like, I've got ten of these, and I've got three of the larger ones. So I didn't really feel the need to get another whole bunch of handles. But I've, you know, I was seeing really great rev early reviews on this one. And uh, the thing I like about this one is the, well, first of all, the thing about these Redgrass Games handles, if you can see that, is there's the handle that kind of fits nicely in your hand, and then there's this little top part that pivots, okay? So it comes with the sticky stuff, right? You put that down in there, and then when you stick the figure on top of it, you can just turn that little thing there to turn the figure every which way, and you don't need to move the handle. Like with the Games Workshop handle, if I'm trying to paint something else, i got to turn it this way and that way, and turn it upside down and all this kind of stuff to get it. This thing, I could just pivot that little head. And that that's the really cool feature about the Red, Redgrass Games palettes. Now the thing about the Citadel handles is they'll sit nice and solid on the ground and won't knock over, okay? The Redgrass Games ones, not so much. They'll, well, that that's actually fairly, okay. I was gonna say, that's fairly solid. But this one came with, there's a magnet in the base and it comes with this little stick-on piece of metal that goes on your, you can stick that on your workbench and it just sticks right on that, keeps it from falling over, makes it really nice and solid. That's a really strong magnet too, I was kind of, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. <laughs> but the cool thing about this one and why I wanted to get on this and why I have the extra caps is because this is great for bass painters like me. I'll usually have two or three projects going at once. And so it comes with two extra little caps, see there, and then it's got the extra little sticky stuff, which really one of these things of sticky stuff is enough to do all three caps, because you're only going to use about a third of that per cap. So I've got another whole thing of sticky stuff for when this goes, when uh, this stuff goes bad or gets painted on or whatever. But the thing I liked about this one is the caps are interchangeable, so you could just, oh yeah, that slides off really nice and easy. Slide that off, slide the next one on, it still pivots. 
pop it off pop the next one on oh yeah that's nice I like that so you can conceivably have three miniatures going at once with the same handle which is really nice now as most of you that watch my videos know the other thing the other issue I have with the Citadel handles is when it grabs hold of a base, and I'm just going to use this figure for an example, um, you get a nice little grip on the corner, on the edge of the, the base here, especially the ones with a bevel like the Citadel bases, but that also means you can't paint that spot. So for a lot of my videos, I wind up painting most of the figure, and then I'd take a cork, I get these corks from the craft store, put a little bit of poster tack on there, and then squeeze the figure down on it like that and I can paint the whole paint the base band but that requires switching back and forth between the handle and the cork before the figure is done with this thing and it's little sticky tack pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these bad boys up and glue them in there oh, that's pretty consistent for eyeball in it not bad. Like I said, I've never worked with these things before, so I'm kind of excited about this. But you just kind of knead it up, get it soft. As I understand it. And then stick the stuff down on there. And what I've been seeing people do, hopefully I can do it if my desktop's not too messy here. I'm going to do it on this plastic. Is just kind of roll it around like that and that gets it all nice and evenly spread out there we go so now you've got the sticky stuff all in the base all in the handle like that that's how that's supposed to look and you can just stick your finger in that stick your figure in that so now you got the figure attached and you can turn it paint it up paint all around it Get all the little details and what have you. And when you want to switch figures, you just... It takes a little effort, but that's probably a good thing. There we go. Pop that off and put another figure on. Now, I brought out... You can see I've got some miniatures here. I brought out these figures because this is a pretty good selection of what I normally work with. So I was hoping to get do a review on how it handles all these different kind of figures. And what I've got is start out with a plastic figure on a plastic base from uh, this is one of the sis uh, I want to say Sisters of Battle but that's not it. It's the uh, Daughters of the Crucible uh, Sisters of Battle kind of stand-ins from uh, Raging Heroes. And I've got a bunch of these and I'll be doing videos on them fairly soon. Um, watch for those coming up in the next couple of months and that so that's plastic on plastic okay and then I got this little guy this is from the Forgotten Realms Heroes box set the dragon bait and he is on a he's a metal figure but he's on a plastic base he's on one of the Citadel bases so I'm going to um, see how it handles metal figure on a plastic base and then last but not least I have this little demon who I just took out of the the uh, paint stripper. You can see, he still needs some work. I need to throw him back in for a little bit longer. But um, he's one of the old school metal grenadier demons from the box set, and I'll be doing videos on these guys too. But like the um, a lot of the old school metal miniatures and a lot of the Reaper uh, miniatures, both the metal and bones lines, he's got the built-in base. So I wanted to see how the figure would handle. Or how the handle would handle that too. Um, I want to cover everything I'm normally working with here. So obviously the uh, plastic one is pretty nice. It uh, holds on there pretty solidly. Ah. Okay, dragon baits on there, and uh, wow, the heavier figure actually moves a lot easier. <laughs> I don't know if the weight of the figure has anything to do with how how easily that pivots but uh, apparently it does so he's on there he's oh, 
that holds pretty solidly. I wouldn't, I'm not sure I'd try that with a whole lot of other handles. So that's nice. Okay, get him off there. And last but not least, do up this little demon. And don't worry, all these figures that I've got here, even though I'm not painting them right now, um, I do have, you see they're all primed, well, demon's not primed, but all the rest of them are primed. The demon's gonna get stripped and primed, and uh, he'll get a little special base too. And they'll all uh, have videos coming up in the next couple of months, so stay tuned for those. But like I said, I'm, I was in kind of a hurry to get these, to get this video done and out there before everybody and their cousin starts getting there. Starts getting their orders from this Kickstarter and post and review videos about it. <laughs> Alright, so a little demon squishes in there. Now with the integrated base, obviously you're losing some of some of the ability to do the base band on him just because it's stuck down in the sticky stuff. But it holds it pretty securely. That's not bad. And that's it's not a huge selling point for me that it's able to do that because I usually, anytime I've got a figure with an integral base like that, I usually put it on a, a on a regular plastic base anyway. But again, metal figure on the base, it pivots pretty easily, holds it really securely. That's really nice. I like that. And the the handle feels good in my hand. It's going to be a little while before I can do like a full-on review of how it works as far as painting it because I can't get to my paints and stuff. They're all stuck in the basement. But so far, I would have to say this one's a winner. And I'm pretty happy with it. And it holds all those very securely. Then the, the magnet comes with a little piece of sticky tape on the bottom. So I'm probably going to... Um, stick that onto my mat on my uh the cutting mat on my my paint uh station to uh, nail that down so that's pretty nice i'm pretty happy with those those are those came out really nicely um obviously if there's any kind of little thing on the bottom of the base like that great green one is going to leave that in there but you just it's putty so just shove it back into place I'm going to keep these caps inside the Ziploc bag when I'm not using them so they don't get dirty. Get all fouled up with crap all over them. Now, I would not use this handle for painting for, uh, I want to say I wasn't going to use it for painting the figures. I'm going to use it for painting the figures. I'm not going to use it for like priming and base coating the figures where you're doing using an airbrush or, or spray painting or that kind of thing um, because that'll gum up this you know same reason I don't use the corks for painting that anymore because you can see where I've got paint all on the cork there and it, I don't want that stuff to get gummed up that's why I have extras supposedly it lasts for a really long time and it's fairly um, resistant to paint and if you get paint on it you can just re-knead it and put it back on there and it'll work just fine um, as far as I've been told so I'm looking forward to trying that out as well but yeah so far first impressions I'm kind of impressed with that uh, I don't know that I'll be the um, let me see if there's an invoice in here because I don't want to quote you the wrong price but there is not um, because I ordered a bunch of stuff with this, I don't, I think, if I remember correctly, the Kickstarter was about $20 American for the handle and the extra heads and all that. Um, so it wasn't terribly expensive. However, um, it is $20 American compared to eight for one of the Citadel handles. Um, 10 if you include the Citadel handle, the cork, and the blue tack. <laughs> so both of these together are probably half the price of this thing. This thing is really nice, and for like showpiece miniatures, I can see myself definitely using it a lot. Um, 
for the ones that I, I really want to uh, I really want to take my time with and make it look really fantastic and I like the little sticky handle thing that apparently that the magnet in the base will just okay that's not metal there we go it, it kind of sticks to that but yeah the magnet in the base you can just stick it on my workbench and it'll stick but this thing I'm gonna put on my painting station someplace and then have a designated spot for that handle to sit so I don't have to worry about knocking it over while I'm painting or anything so overall I'm pretty impressed with this uh, this little guy and I don't know why I'm why I'm surprised by that I mean the truth of the matter is I've tried I use Redgrass Games' uh, wet palette, and it's like the best thing ever. Um, and I'm just un unabashedly a fanboy of the wet palette. So I'm not sure why I thought the, the handle was going to be any different, why I expected to be disappointed by it or what have you. But yeah, that's pretty nice. And then like I said, you get this free book with it, Everlasting Games' uh, wet palette. I think um, a little while before the... Uh, Kickstarter for the handle kicked off they were offering this book as a free download so I got the I got the free download but it kind of ate up a lot of ink on my printer printing it off because I, I like having a solid thing to to work with so I wanted to take a look at this it goes into Redgrass Games products their brushes and their nippers and their there are other handles, their wet palettes, of course. Whole big thing on their wet palettes. It, it says right at the beginning, do not distribute, upload, modify, or print without written permission from Redgrass Games. But um, I'm not doing any of those things. I'm reviewing, so that's I think that's allowed. Um, it goes into how to set up the wet palette, which is really nice. It's step-by-step -step instructions on on how to get the best effects out of your wet palette and how to blend things. Talks about the new handle, 360 handle, um, how to do the little sticky stuff on there, that's really nice. How do you, goes into all their stuff and how to use it, which is really nice. Uh, it's got a little chapter on color theory, um, chapter on dilution. Oh, shows you how to dilution ratio of paint to water for base color, edges, grooves and holes, dry brushing, washes and glazes, which is nice. So you can use the same paint for a lot of different things if you know how to dilute it correctly and now you got this little chart in the book, which is really nice. Uh, brush handling. That's actually an underrated skill. I think a lot of people don't realize how important brush handling is for to get really good effects out of your miniatures and yet if you were never specifically taught that um, you tend to go through a lot of brushes really fast because they get messed up and it's a skill that has to be learned like anything else um, it's blendings and magic tips oh stuff about like like uh, using a hairdryer to speed up your painting uh, painting method step by step process for getting the results to get how to paint eyes that's always a nice one I don't paint the eyes on my figures if I can help it but it's nice to have a, a guide to how to do it without looking oversized and cartoony so yeah it's a nice little book that's that's actually pretty pretty slick and that's gonna go on myself next to the the other painting guides I have so overall, for twenty bucks, that is twenty bucks American. That is not a bad deal um, to get all of this in in one little package. Um, and then, of course, like the other stuff I ordered, added more to that. But yeah, that's a pretty good value. I, I like that. Um, like I said, I'm not. I, I haven't painted with it yet, so I'm not entirely sold on it to the point where I'm going to order nine more and replace all my Citadel handles with them. I think for individual character painting, this is going to be my go-to handle. For batch painting, I'm still going to stick with the Citadels and the Corks. But yeah, so far this is this is I'm really kind of pleasantly surprised by this. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get this posted. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Both of those help me with my YouTube numbers and help support me doing and what, what I do best. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you want to support me more directly, you can visit my Patreon site um, and go on my Instagram page to see uh, all the miniatures that I paint on this site and how to get your hands on one of your own if you want one. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can check both of those to see when new videos get posted. And visit my merch store at uh, storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.